Hello girls and boys, probably mainly girls, but um, this is the styling series um, where I will be showing you pieces in my wardrobe and putting together looks that I think could be helpful to any of you, um, things I would put together for my personal wear and anything of that nature so we're just gonna jump straight into the first episode of the styling series video on my channel and um, go from there really um, today it's going to be episode one mixing vintage from maybe your grandma's closet from your mum's closet any vintage from flea markets and mixing that with the average clothes you already have in your closet pairing it all together to make the best outfits you possibly can without feeling as though you have no clothes or you can't mix and match and yeah so we're just gonna jump straight into the video and i hope you guys enjoy and here we go so first up i mean i'm i'm just trying to I'm trialing this setup. I'm not sure this is forever going to be where I do the styling series because I'm currently sitting on a, a gym ball, like a bouncy yoga kind of ball. Um, and then I've got a chair over here with my clothes, the main clothes I might talk about. So first up, key piece in the wardrobe that is quite good you can get from vintage places secondhand beyond retro in brighton if you're local if you're in england any of the secondhand vintage stores in london all around the place really you can always find a pair of levi's i actually got mine last christmas mine are the um they are like a button up they're like the original button up ones the uh 501s but they're not uh vintage ones they're actually like redesigned 501s um i got the i got this pair and another pair but this is my favorite kind of blue for a levi denim so those are a key piece in my wardrobe I don't wear them all the time because sometimes I find jeans a bit uncomfortable. Levi's can be quite stiff jean to wear all the time. Some people find them really comfortable but I have to be like in the mood for a pair of Levi's but obviously Levi's are a staple in the wardrobe. A quality jean that's going to last a long time. Um, so yeah, those are a nice thing to pair with a lot of clothing see this is one of my favorites that i got from zara a few years ago it's just a gray thin turtleneck t-shirt long sleeve and this to be honest i'll just stand up i think because um this it's quite a flowy top um, this actually works perfectly for um, under this blazer I would wear it uh, with some jeans or some suit pants I wore it when I was on placement when you've got to be a bit more professional it's just good in these colder months so and it's not too th uh, thick it's like a good layering top to have I also like a good staple white sleeve sorry it's actually <laughs> inside out you know when you're doing laundry or someone's done laundry for you so this is another one i really enjoy i think it should still be on brandy melville it's a really lovely thin cotton material with long sleeves it acts as a thermal and it has a small usa detail on the front um i anything i can link down below i will for sure so yeah just check the links down below and anything that I can find similar that I can't find the exact thing I'll link down below as well so like you know the denim jeans if I can't find the exact ones although I probably can um, and then any vintage things I'll find similar looks for you guys so yeah 
Okay, and then basically my main, my key thing in my wardrobe is t-shirts. T-shirts and jeans or trousers. So, uh, again, this is inside out, been washed in, like, you know, folded inside out. Um, but this is another nice key t-shirt I like. It's from Selected Cotton and this is just a size large. I always just kind of go for large in women's t-shirts and then I do get the occasional men's t-shirt, you know, oversized. I'm a big fan of oversized. Right, so we've got a few t-shirts. Got to have a nice camo t-shirt just to run around in. I'm a big fan of camo as well. T-shirt after t-shirt, a palm print t-shirt I got from LA. And then this jumper, this sweater, I think it's men's, it's Tommy Hilfiger. But I actually got it second hand in a little market in Amsterdam a few years ago and I love it. It's a cotton beigey camel knit and I, I just love, I really love it. I'll try these things on, I'll try them on once I've gone through and show you different looks after. Then obviously after the blue denim you need a nice grey denim. These are from Zara, basic denim department. Just a nice grey denim skinny jean, very essential to the wardrobe in the winter months. You know, you can dress it up or down, you can go out in it, have a dressy top, nice top and jeans for an evening and heels with a jacket or you can wear it in the day and dress it casual. And this I'm absolutely loving. This I found in TK Maxx, believe it or not, from Ralph Lauren, 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 I don't know. Um, and this is just a gorgeous black sweater with the most beautiful embroidery and to me that just seems like such a Christmassy jumper so this is going to be one of my Christmas jumpers um, and I'm going to wear it religiously this winter yeah so I was happy about that because I got a major discount obviously because in TK Maxx you do so I highly recommend going to your local TK Maxx I'm browsing the knitwear because this time of year they do have some great choices. Again, from TK Maxx I got this kind of crazy bold electric blue knitted jumper that's actually from the brand Pieces, which I believe, and it's got um, this lovely kind of lycra blue metallic in between so it's got a bit of a mesh detailing stripe going all the way through so you see a bit of skin as you're wearing it um i just thought that's quite a fun color i don't really go for electric blue but i'm i'm all about trying new things in fashion and you know testing the waters i was thinking what, pairing it with a blue eye look you know being quite fun and creative so i'm excited to use that and make that work i'm so i can't even get the camera set up like i don't i keep bending but i don't know how to position it to be all right we'll just go with that and is that good or not no that's what i need to do i need to raise this sorry pause a sec <laughs> trying to figure out how to be a youtuber <laughs> A minute. Have we got it? Have we got it? Alright, we're gonna work with that, okay guys? And then obviously I'm a big fan of knitwear because I'm I do knitting at uni. This is from ASOS, I got it. Yeah, I got it last year. I'm just what I'm really into is the colour way, the kind of brownie beigey camel with the red and the leopard print it's just quite a fun thing to throw on to a plain outfit in the day in the evening as well if you wanted but it's from asos unfortunately i don't think it's still on asos um but i will look for similar uh, um similar jumpers and thing knitwear and link it below obviously trench coats are a major staple right now and this is my the only trench coat I ha actually have at the moment which I'm looking forward to widening my range of trench coats because the funny thing is I got this in the sale 
in Zara in Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Scotland, and um, I absolutely love the colour. It's kind of like a clay, I don't want to say terracotta, it's kind of like a clay colour, you know what I'm saying? Like very neutral, very earthy. <sighs> I just love it, it's just because it's not the usual trench colour, I just had to get it, even though it, it is, even though it's actually meant for the summer for some reason, that's why they've done this um, bluey, blue and white striping lining in the inside, which I'm not so keen on, but I absolutely love the outside that I just had to get it. And it was in the sale for £20, so I was like, wow, I would be silly to not get this. And um, I wear it like it's a trench coat for the winter time because it kind of is waterproof anyways. It came with this kind of ecru belting webbing thing that you tie. It goes through the back and you, you're meant to tie it around the front. Obviously, I'll try it on and show you. You meant to tie it around the front but I actually tie it and leave it in a bow at the back because it doesn't look that flattering. Um, unfortunately, because it's designed for a summer trench kind of jacket, um, they didn't put double breasted buttons which is a bit of a letdown so there's only one button and then the pockets and then the lovely cuff detailing with the button. Um, but. Other than that, I'm, I love it for the colour and the material because it is waterproof still. So I, I love this and I'll show you what how I would pair it. Just kind of casual over a lot of things really. T-shirts and jeans, some nice shoes, trainers, chunky trainers um, and a nice bag or something. But yeah, I'm, I definitely want to eventually, well I've seen a few on Zara that are gorgeous like the camel beige trench coat that looks like the Burberry one. I'll link all of that down below. I probably will end up getting one myself. <laughs> They're doing a lot of green ones at the moment, kind of khaki, but in a very muted way. Um, those are really lovely. I recently got this cardigan from Zara as well, kind of an oatmeal creamy beige. And then it's got the really nice tortoiseshell button detailing. And I went on a placement to Burberry in the fabric and trim department. And just so you know, the Zara buttons are from the same supplier as Burberry's. So they're actually pretty good quality buttons from Zara. Or the same kind of quality as from Burberry. Although Burberry's ones have their logos imprinted into them and things. So just so you know, your buttons from Zara are as quality as Burberry technically so that's why I do like to get cardigans and trench coats from um, Zara because I know the buttons are good <laughs> I don't know it's a bit weird but you know and then I actually have this gorgeous jacket that my mum kindly gave to me and it's from Emina Marks and Spencers but it's in this gorgeous camel colour with a bit of shoulder padding and it's all genuine leather and it's been um cut and re-sewn like you know it's got the kind of thing and what that's called you know where it's been nicely put together um and then the buttons complement it so well um and it is a size 10 I'd usually get a size 12 in jackets and things because I like them a bit oversized but it's a lovely long line leather coat and in this beigey colour I think it's really edgy and cool and I'll show you how I would style that with a day look you can even do it in the evening to be honest you could wear like quite a toned down look but really dress it up with loads of jewellery loads of necklaces, gold, earrings, chunky hoops and make it like such a statement but subtle look those are a few things that i feel in your wardrobe are quite essential so blazers t-shirts jeans trench coats or long line jackets and coats obviously in these kind of months in england it's going to be raining a lot so you want to have some sort of nice fashionable 
long line waterproof jacket or coat to fling on that's kind of a neutral that will go with many looks. I'm gonna try a few things on and show you what I put together so I hope you enjoy and if you are enjoying so far please give it a big old thumbs up I'd really appreciate it and hope you keep watching and see what my looks will be oh guys another one I forgot to add in is this this is actually <laughs> a genuine army jacket from the, U the US um, and my mum sourced it from a local army shop in Brighton so it's quite it's second hand oversized and it has two colorways for the US army for when they were like in the desert and then when they're on like green mainland so I absolutely love this as well this is a big statement piece for me I, I'm a big fan of army and camo, I have a lot of army and camo things, t-shirts, trousers, um, but this I love because it's a thin cotton and really lightweight but it's just big oversized, you know if you're not feeling like um, being in a top all the time or you're trying to just be like making a statement for a photo shoot, you never know, this is just a really nice thing to throw on. It was good for summer, I was gonna take it when I went to LA, but I was worried that um, it would actually spark a bit of concern if uh, the police or someone saw me in a actual US Army jacket, so I thought it was a bit inappropriate. Even though it did, on this side, it did have a pocket that had like the US Army logo, but I removed it, I unpicked it, um, so there's no pocket there but there so it was like that on the green side but I unpicked it in case I did want to actually wear it in America but then I never took it because I just decided best not to but obviously we're in England so I'm loving it and obviously you can like roll up the edge and have a bit of the like light brown tones come through or you can wear it the other way I personally prefer um, the actual green side but obviously you can wear it the other way and it completely turns inside out which is quite cool. Um, so this is just another vintage find that we managed to get our hands on and it kind of reminds me of um, the like the Bape camo where it's like the monkey that transforms into like a camo print. Um, it from to me it kind of looks like that. Obviously, it's not. It's just a natural camo. Um, so yeah, I just think this is a really cool statement piece that um, guys and girls can rock. So yeah, if I can find one online, I'll link it down below for you guys as well. Um, and yeah, let's just get on with the next look. Okay, so here we just have. A nice basic look with vintage M&S jacket. Obviously it's a size 10, I wanted a size 12 so I wouldn't necessarily do it up but it's obviously a lovely jacket that I'm very excited to wear and I just wear it quite simple to be honest and have accents of gold jewellery and then that's my look really. I pair it with my Balenciagas um, because, you know, the complementary colours, the off-white, the kind of beigey camel, and that would be my look with jeans, like that really, yeah, so that will be that. It's very simple, sometimes simple is really key, you just have to keep it simple and then dress it up with jewellery and have nice hair and makeup and you're good to go, so it's not that difficult. And you can find le nice leather jackets anywhere really, any second hand shop, charity shop, they're lurking everywhere really, but you just got to find them, so I'll link any I can find down below. I'll also link Beyond Retro because they have a website, also if you are local to Brighton or anything, um, 
wolf and is it wolf and gypsy i think it's vintage wolf and gypsy they have an online store which is good but sometimes everything's almost sold out on there but then they have the shop in brighton in the lane so if you are local or nearby brighton that's an amazing place they choose and select their pieces specifically from around the world they've like pre-selected the vintage so it's like really good stuff okay next look okay so this is the um gorgeous jumper i found in tk maxx um i personally there it is really bugging me um i personally would wear it with some wet look pants um like these these are from zara slim fit uh, these aren't as high-waisted as I like them. Trousers are essential as well. Black jeans, grey jeans, blue jeans, all essential pieces, basics. Um, I have some kind of suity ones that I got from TK Maxx from the brand Massimo Fabro, made in Italy. These ones are actually, I got from, uh, there's a shop called Velvet in Hove in Brighton. Um, these are Vero Moda actually um, and these are just wet look pants like faux leather looking pants and these work really nicely I'll actually put them on in a second to try and show you I would also probably I mean there's many ways you could actually finish off this look I, I'd maybe in the day wear them with like a bit of a weird you know I've got like these Tommy jeans boots bike not biker, hiker kind of, you know, a bit, I don't know. Um, so I'd possibly wear like wet look trousers with these boots or any like black leather boots or non leather, but you know, any, any black boot would look good if you wanted to do an all black look. You could wear it with jeans. I wouldn't personally necessarily. I would want it to be a bit more of a, a statement look, so I'd probably go all black with it. I've got these shoes as well that I'd possibly wear in the evening with them. Wet look, lock heel, sock kind of boot from Zara. So I'd probably wear those. Black leather trousers, jumper and these. Um, and then that would be my look for this jumper so it's really just about finding a few key pieces and then you can work around it so you can just use your basics to pair with so it's mainly um you can have one key thing key statement in your outfit and then subtly have everything else quite simple and basic and then it just looks quite clean and put together nicely so you don't necessarily have to go crazy with your outfits for them to look really good um obviously sometimes it's nice to trial an outfit where you go all crazy with colour but then sometimes it's really nice to just keep the colour quite simple so yeah on to the next look <laughs> okay so this is just a top I've I got from Brandy Melville again quite simple probably good for Halloween um in the daytime I've got my black wet look leggings not leggings trousers on um and yeah you can really pair anything with this you could i could definitely pair this trench coat with it to add a bit of color to a monochromatic look so you could go with this and then it's just like that, that really so that's a look like wet look trousers and then you've just got you know it's quite simple but again effective and you're good to go run out the door any occasion really yeah so nice full look i think but yeah this is what i meant about this back detailing if i was to undo it it just does not look like me personally i think that stands out too much and it doesn't look very flattering in the front like that to me it doesn't look very flattering because it's just like why is there the, this belt that isn't the color of the jacket so i wrap it around in the back and just leave it tied in a bow at the back so that it doesn't look strange or even if it does look strange it's in the back so hopefully anyone talking to you doesn't realize so um but for 20 pounds this was a bargain so yeah zara, zara sales are not one to be missed you have to make sure you don't miss those um they really do offer some great things for a great price price compared to their average retail price um so yeah this is another look next look here we come oh and just really quickly this is a bit of a weird jacket that i got in 
Target, would you believe, in America? It was $10. It's not my size, it's clearly oversized. It's kind of a crop denim, um, but I just had to get it for $10 because I thought it's quite a weird cow looking print tie dye denim jacket. But I think because it's so weird looking, it's actually quite cool and it is a big statement so you know i don't know i don't know if i definitely wear it with this look but just to show you it you know for a photo shoot or whatever for ten dollars i had to get it because i thought since tie-dye is clearly making a comeback especially in denim as well it actually is appearing in denim these days on the runway i thought we need to just spend that ten dollars and make sure we get this so if i can find any tie-dye denim jackets which i'm sure i can i'll link those down below um i think it's a very cool trendy idea to like spice up your wardrobe and try something different and work with like a different look even if it's just for a few photos for instagram or just you know it depends on the price obviously this was ten dollars so to me it was a bargain even though a bit of a some people will love it some people will hate it but it's good to try new things test the waters and give it a go and just really quickly guys um i have this jacket um which is a new look that i got a few years ago i'm putting this on my depop if anyone want if anyone wanted a khaki aviator jacket with like black shirling and a greeny um felt kind of material you know i'm always putting things on my depop so my depop i'll link down below i think it's just lily and eve um, so keep checking that, I'll be putting up new things here and there, and yeah, and obviously these are really trending at the moment, so like a leather or faux leather jacket, um, which you can wear loosely as a jacket, this one's actually from Nasty Girl, which I think is pretty cool, because it's a good length, it um, finishes just past my like widest part of my leg, like top of the thigh, and um you do it up it is um like a vegan material faux leather quite oversized and then obviously it's quite wide so but it's long as well so it's not too frumpy and short it's a good length so even though it's wide it <coughs> elongates down but it also comes with a belt so Usually I'd wear it without a t-shirt or something underneath, but you can actually wear it as a jacket, which is quite cool. Um, and then I would tie this. Yeah, I'd just tie it like that and leave it hanging, but I'd figure it out so it wouldn't hang in a weird way. And then I'd just wear that. You know, you can tie it as tight as you like. And then I'd just wear that as a look usually without the t-shirt underneath and then that's quite a fun wet look a bit like the matrix you know that kind of thing um and i'd usually wear it in the evening but i guess i'd probably wear it in the day as well to be honest and i i might if i was to wear it in the day i would wear it tied up but i think i could actually wear it non tied up as a jacket so yeah under so i could wear a top underneath like this and just have it loosely open if i wanted because it's long enough to be kind of like a coaty jacket as well so that's just another look that i would think about um yeah so i don't know how many outfits i haven't actually been keeping count of what my outfits have been um hopefully i'm going okay with the amount um this one's great because i actually got a morphe palette with electric blue oh sugar there's a wasp wasp has just front flown in my room oh shit sorry guys got a piece whoa that was the scariest thing no wonder right the window is being closed no wonder people do actually catch quite eventful things on the camera oh, i'm absolutely petrified of wasps a wasp just flew in the window luckily I, it was one of those wasps where they know how to get out you know like 
some of the wasps are a lot more smarter than the other ones. I think they must be the older ones. That as soon as they fly in the house, they know how to fly out and sense where the wind is to the window. And that one luckily flew straight back out, but oh my god. Anyways, I think I'm going to close the video here because I think I have filmed quite a bit. I've done it in clips, so I think I've filmed quite a bit. Um, and this is just my first styling series to the channel, episode one. Um, and I hope you liked it. I look forward to carrying on this series and bringing you some more good tips and tricks that I like to use for fashion and just throwing on outfits because fashion and putting on clothes, putting on outfits, being a girl is meant to be fun. You're not meant to be stressed about it. I know us girls usually get quite stressed and think we've got nothing in our wardrobe. Um, <laughs> believe me, I do it and my mum does it and you know, um, and then we blame our boyfriends and things and say, we've got no clothes, we can't go anywhere. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to just show you a few things that are possi possibly what you could get or have in your wardrobe and work with. Um, I'll link anything I can down below and I hope to see you guys in my next video so please like comment subscribe and thank you for watching and I will see you soon okay